The first of our three title matches to headline Rage in the Cage 2023. And yeah! well, that's that's highly inappropriate. Very oh, much so. Sakes, look at that! Whoa! A little gamesmanship, a little showmanship yeah. between these two already. If you don't think Eel O'Neill means all business after that, I mean, the guy, he, he cut weight to get to that 205 limit. And Solis Barza's 378-day reign as cruiserweight champion, maybe no more. And we're underway. After a few minutes here. Yeah, Saul Spice Esparza, the cruiserweight champ, taking on the challenger in the cage, Eel O'Neal. What was that stutter that uh, uh, Studwell had with the the, the uh, ring introduction? I, I know everybody the, here. Well, uh, I, 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 he used to be he used to go by Superstar oh. Saul Esparza, but now it's Saul Spice Esparza. I, yeah. It's, Apparently, uh, I could get my Rolodex of nicknames. Out. Yeah. Oh, fit in his in ring style as we see him smash Eels head first into the side of the cage. That cage Whoa. playing a factor in every match tonight here at EWA Rage oh. in the Cage 2023. He was trying to javelin Eel O'Neill into that, uh, into that cage, but Eel, uh, with the uh, rebound of it, and now bumping backs there. Yeah, these two very, um, you know. These two very good friends outside of the ring, but yeah, you know, very very familiar with one another yes. inside the ring. Several meetings, they train together, up and down the road together, but uh, yeah. In fact, they've only they've only met twice. Yeah, and this is in tag matches. One at a uh, Warehouse Wars 11 uh, back in 2020, and uh, Vibe Primetime Vibes on uh, November the 6th, 2022. Eel won both of those matches, but tag matches and one-on-one -on -one encounters, completely different animal, yeah. especially with a title on the line. I can tell you, I was at that Primetime Vibe show, and the, 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 the amount of uh, study that these two have on each other in the ring, uh, the fluidity, oh. the gamesmanship, the one-upsmanship, this is going to be quite a match here. Yeah. It might steal the show tonight. You look up clinic in the, in, in the dictionary, you're going to see a picture of these two. Uh, and uh, as you can see, they're they're trying to. They're gain trading arm wrenches each there. Other. Yeah. Yeah. Very different from uh, the matches we've seen previously yeah. on this show. There's all there. There's a uh, there's brutality. There's there's uh, there's weapons. There's all kinds of grudge aspects. But you got yourself a a solid one-on-one -on -one wrestling match to start things off. How about yeah. that? Use of the limbs, use of oh. some grapples, a little, little hammer lock right there. And, uh, and yeah. kind of just trying to get some more uh, leverage there for uh, and another top wrist lock oh, there. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. First he was slapping the hand to, to get it uh, visible so he could use it for leverage, but that was just pure um, gamesmanship, as you mentioned before. Oh, yeah. A lot of strategy. A lot of chess being played right now between these two. Eel O'Neill trying Ooh. to gain that uh, cruiserweight championship. It's been a, it's been a, a, a lifetime of streaks, streaks for Eel O'Neill recently. Uh, he's had that... Uh, Cruiserweight Championship before won it at Rage in Cage 2020, uh, uh, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. um, lost it at uh, Evolution 2021. He went on a a streak where he wasn't pinned in an EWA ring in 10 months, and uh, that earned him a heavyweight title shot. He came up short yeah. on that, and now he's returning the favor. Yeah, turnabout's fair play wow. there. And What's now, good for you is good oh, for me, E. O'Neill. Tried to bridge him into the a odds. pinning predicament. Blah, 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 he's strong. Cover, one, two. Oh, he shifted momentum on the bridge. Got a two count of his own there. And a side headlock by Eel. Grinding away on it. Backs him up against the rope, shoots him off. Shoulder. And uh, yeah, he only came up short on that um, heavyweight title try. So he, he, 
petitioned EWA officials, and they said, you get down to the, to the uh, 205 mark, and we will let you get a shot yeah. at the championship that some people felt he never should have lost in the first place. Yeah. And Eel O'Neill is probably one of the best all-around wrestlers we've got going today. You know, he, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the biggest of them, the baddest of them, the fastest. And as we can oh. see here, he can use tech oh. technique, strategy, and high-flying maneuvers as well. Yeah. I think Saul was trying to load up for that lariat, and uh, Eel countered that with a, with a spinning suplex of, uh, of his own. Mm -hmm. I mean... Uh, yeah, you want to talk about busy. I looked up uh, Eel O'Neill's um, 2022. Guy wrestled like 48 matches oh, last yeah. year, and I mean, you know, that's you know, you're that's that basically means every, he's got every weekend booked. Pretty much, single yeah. tag, you name it. He's been in the ring very often, and, and oh! now just kind of chucking Saul into the side of the cage yeah. head first. Oh, and now wrenching that knee. So, uh, oh, wait, is he saw biting him? I mean, he, I saw, I, I almost thought he was biting him for a second. Yeah. I, I guess he was uh, um, squeezing on a bear hug. I wouldn't put it past Saul mm -hmm. to start biting. Yeah, those underhanded tactics. Saul's, yeah. uh, he's shown that he'll use any means necessary to keep his title. He's a scrapper. He's a fighter. He, he, he Won the 2021 Sweet 16 tournament. Won the cruiserweight titles. Had multiple successful defenses. Mm -hmm. It's a tall order for both men. Wow, look at that. Uh, Saul gaming the upper mount now. Just some fists, a flurry of fists oh. right there to Eel O'Neal. And Eel uh, reversing yeah, it there. Eel switches the guard and now forearm shots of his own. Yeah. Oh! Now just straight ramming his head into the mat. So uh, yeah, now now all that technique that we were mentioning earlier might be starting to break down into. Uh, yeah, emotions stuff. are running high. These guys are really just uh, getting uh, starting to get a little personal, oh. starting to get a little brutal, realizing what's at stake here is more than just bragging rights. It's that EWA cruiserweight title. Yeah, Saul trying to um, go on the defense with those kicks and uh, oh, but look at that. The uh, arm ringer was countered into a rear naked choke. Snapmare, oh, and a back elbow just turned Saul inside out almost. Yeah, a lot of momentum shifts going on right now in this match. You know, Saul gets the upper hand and right immediately, Eel O'Neal takes it back. Oh. That's, that's how you know these two know each other. Yeah, it's a 50-50 match in mm -hmm. the, um, in the uh, highest of respects here. Going for a pile driver perhaps? Oh no, switches. Into a roll up cover. Whoa, oh, only a two. Yeah. Referee was on top of that, but I saw Eel O'Neal kind of had his uh, oh. had his sh right shoulder obstructed by the oh, boot of Saul. So oh. you got to look out for those pins. Leaning bridge. Oh, he leaned right into a real rear naked choke. Yeah. He gave himself up there and he paid for it. Eel now riding the back. Holding on to that, uh, holding on to that, uh, back choke. Saul now maneuvering his arm. Reaching free. for that rope so he can break, get a break on the hold. He hits that rope, that's a rope oh. break, and Eel knows that already. He's preventing him from happening. Underhooks the arm, and now he's got him in a full Nelson, but, yeah, oh, Saul using his teeth. Yeah. By the skin of his teeth. Oh, and a snap dragon suplex. And Saul is in a position he does not want to be in, which yeah. is uh, kind of folded up in the yeah. center of the ring there. Bum over tea kettle, more or less. And the crowd's starting to get into it here. Jam packed, standing room only here at the castle, the Bel Air Armory. Yeah, they're clapping, they're stomping. Bel Air is really live, living up for this match here. Eel loading up. Oh! Oh, forearm shot. Forearm. Yeah. Rolls through, comes back again. Oh, misses the second one. Saw with the roll through. Catches the boot. Oh! oh. 
And his head went snapping back in an uncomfortable yeah. fashion. That was a kind of a quick lariat, a short lariat there. Oh, in the corner. Saw with their boots. And saw the corner. in one fluid motion going up to the top rope. He's dangerous from up here. Oh, missile drop kick. Both heels, all impact, and now the ref is going to put the count. Yeah, both men are down, so this is really just a 10 count to see who can get to their feet first. And you know this ref, he, he, he's, he's, he's putting on a, a, a good pace count, but he doesn't want to get the 10. Nobody yeah. wants to see that. No, not, not for a match with a title on the line in a steel oh. cage of all things. And now both men, and now Saul is daring him to just, just hit him because we've seen this before. When you hit Saul too many times, he starts firing up. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, you see, the, there, there's yeah. the, the, the spice in Saul Esparza right yeah. now. He wants to take every, the, the best the Eels got. He's saying hit him. Yeah. Oh. But then he reverses it. Reverses out of that rear naked choke again. Back around into one of his own. Yeah. Both of these men know each other like the back of their hands. Oh, yeah. And, oh, set him up. Chokes, roll throughs. He's setting him up for something. A little reverse. Go behind. Setting him up. Flex, perhaps. Oh, flipped over. And now, oh, a hook. A backslide, perhaps. No, flipped him through. And oh, oh that, my goodness. That spicy lariat mm -hmm. by Solace Spars at a cover. One, two, and oh. Just that. a two count. The, the, that's even that sequence, just the reversals happening. It's a lot to keep up with. Oh my gosh, these two. Saw one of the heaviest hitters on the EWA roster. Don't let the cruiserweight size fool you. Mm -hmm. You get hit. You get hit by him. It's like getting hit by a by a small vehicle. Oh yeah. And oh. He was going for some sort of perhaps a, a moonsault, but uh, Eel O'Neill tripped him up. Yeah. Now sends him head first into the cage. Making use of that cage, that unforgiving steel, punishing Saul Esparza, keeping him on that uh, top turnbuckle. And, oh. and both of these guys have so many uh, oh. maneuvers at their disposal that you just Looks can all only sides of the tree. Whoa, that's not a place you want to be with Eel O'Neill charging at you full oh. speed. Hesitation drop kick to the ribs. Yeah. And now Eel on the offensive. Yeah, he smells blood. He's sensing that this could be the time to put Saul away and get that uh, cruiserweight title for himself. Saul, of course, won that cruiserweight title at last year's Rage in the Cage in the. Uh, the infamous I'm sorry steel cage match against Rico Hendricks. One of the mm -hmm. wildest matches I've ever seen live. Oh yeah, that match had everything. Ah. Doors, uh, windows, uh, you name it. Oh, and uh, now these two, they're, they're fighting up. They're getting perilously close. Not only to the top rope, but near the top of that cage. Yeah. And oh. A little hesitation there, Saul yeah. taking advantage. We're well over 10 minutes in, and the uh, heaviness of the blows is not stopped. And what is Saul doing? Sunset flip off the top rope. Got him covered one, two, and oh. Oh, Saul had the leverage uh, just a hair, uh, uh, a half a second lo longer. That would have been a three count. And that wasn't a traditional sunset flip where you uh, you jump over your opponent from the, the standing position where you're both at the same height. He had more leverage on yeah. that and uh, came in like a bullet, and it's still. Yeah, saw him out with kicks and back elbows in the middle of the ring. Oh, missed that one. Oh, oh. that lariat out of nowhere. Oh. Eel O'Neal asserting himself, and now he's uh, in the top position. Oh. That but can he get the pinfall? That wasn't a rainmaker. That was a uh, whole stormfront maker. I don't mm. even know how to call that other than it was just devastating impact. Now he's got him up. Oh. Power bomb? No. Oh, went through. Small package. Small back. And that's it. Wow. Saul Esparza retains his title. Saul had to be sneaky Saul on that one. 
But he won it. And another case of almost but not quite for Eel O'Neill.